All right, so here we've got another painting. Uh, this is called The Scream. The Scream. It's a very famous painting by a guy called Edward Munch. You might want to go and look him up if you like this painting. Anyway, so again, let's have a look at isometric, oblique, um, planimetric. Uh, is it one point or is it two point perspective? So now, so again, the same methodology as before, we're looking for some true shapes. Now, is there any? Can you identify any rectangles that we know to be rectangles and they also look like rectangles? Well, maybe in here, I don't know, not really. So who knows? So maybe there's no true shapes. Is there any true shapes? I don't know. We can, we, what we can say is that there's definitely a sense that this person at the, here, who's clearly closer to us, is much larger than these people that are far away from us. That, we could say, rules out what we could say are parallel projections. So, parallel, it's not, right? So they're not parallel projections. So that means that isometric, oblique, and planimetric are all out because they're because basically what's happening is things are getting smaller. You can see there's a little boat in the way in the distance over here, and they're tiny compared to that. If we were looking at a planimetric, an oblique, or an isometric, everything stays the same no matter how far away from it you from it you you are. But so the the question then remains: Is this a one point perspective then, or a two point perspective, or is it something else? Is it not a graphics drawing? So I'm just going to rub some stuff out so we can really start looking at it again. Alright, so let's see. So where do the, these lines all lead to? I'm going to make the drawing, a little, the painting a little bit smaller um, by just doing this. Right, so now we're going to see where are these lines all leading to. So let me just draw in this line here. It goes over there. This line goes over here. That line goes over there. So you can see there's going to be a vanishing point somewhere over here. Now what else can we see? Well, this is some sort of horizon here, maybe. And I don't know what this is. Maybe that's going somewhere. I don't know. So you could say that there's a vanishing point here, perhaps. But aside from that, we're not really very clear. Maybe it's a one-point perspective. But it could also be two-point. I can't see where the other vanishing point might be. It might be over here somewhere, some version of that, but who knows. What we can say, basically, is that it's based on a perspective kind of arrangement because as things get further away things get smaller so therefore we could say maybe it's a one point perspective maybe it's a two point perspective what we can say is that it's definitely not parallel and it might be one point perspective but generally what I would say is that this is not a graphics drawing not graphics now by the way in the exam I'm not going to give you any um, any paintings or any artwork or any drawings which are clearly not graphics drawings. Uh, I think that's just a little bit mean. So this is quite a hard one. Anyway, let's move on and see what's next. All right, so so here's another drawing. Um, just going to move it around a little bit. So let's move it down to there. Okay, so again, what sort of drawing is this? So remember, oblique, isometric, planimetric, uh, one point and two point. So, what's the first thing that we're going to look for? Well, are there any true shapes? Are there any rectangles that we know to be rectangles and therefore and also look rectangular? Also, for example, this piece here, that should be a rectangle, but actually it's this sort of shape. Right? So we can say that that's not true shape. What about the sort of plan? It might be a planimetric. So if we look at this piece here, is this 
actually a rectangle. So we can see if, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. No, so again, we can't move it independently. But you can see, you know, very clearly that that, this shape here, is not a rectangle. Right, so therefore the plan is not true shape. So planimetrics out. We definitely are not looking straight at something. And then it's going back into the distance, either uh, parallel or to a vanishing point. So therefore oblique and one point perspective are out. So maybe it's isometric, maybe it's two point perspective. So if we look at these lines here, are they going to two different vanishing points? I would say my guess is no. Now another reason to think that it's an isometric rather than a two point perspective is that things are not getting smaller as they get further away from us. If, we were, if this was a two-point perspective, we would expect the things in this quadrant, in this area, to look much bigger than in this area. So I think that we can discount two-point perspective, other than you know a special case where the, um, the vanishing points are way, way off into the distance. I, could, I would say that really what we're looking at here is an isometric drawing. So let's just um, rub some of this stuff out. So you can really have a good look and go, well, yeah, that is, that makes sense. That is, in fact, an isometric drawing. All right, so that's it. Um, that's all the slides I've got to show you. So you've seen that we've been looking at different types of drawings and how we um, identify them. The general kind of approach that I've taken has been, first of all, to look for true shapes. And if I found true shapes, therefore... It would be either oblique, isometric, sorry, not isometric, planimetric, or one-point perspective. Uh, if I haven't found them, they'd be isometric or two-point. Um, and then I've gone on from there. So, you know, looking for parallel lines, looking at which way the true shapes are orientated, where, whether we're looking down on an object or whether we're looking at the front of it to work out one-point or... Uh, or one point in oblique or planimetric, um, and then, you know, looking to see if there's any vanishing points. So that's basically it. So my approach is always look for true shapes first, then look for is there vanishing points or not. So that's it. So that's how you identify um, the different drawing modes in pieces of art or in drawings. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and good luck.